Hey everybody, I am so excited to have a dear friend, Corey Close with the FSU um, women's basketball team in Tallahassee, Florida. I have the honor and privilege of just sharing her with you. Um, she's going to talk to us a little bit about leadership, some of her favorite things, things that have helped her along in her profession, and I know that you're going to enjoy her. So, Corey, um, again, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you for, uh, you know, allowing me to do this. And, you know, we, the topic for today is leadership. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of leadership experience. Mm -hmm. You know, what are some of your top lessons that you can share with us? We're, you know, some of us, we're trying to build businesses, we're, you know, leaders in the community or in our family, in our home. What are some of your top lessons that you can share with us? Well, I think, you know, there's just a couple tidbits that um, really I continue to learn is that you can't give away what you don't have mm -hmm. and that if you are, you know, not taking care of yourself and you're not doing a good job of really getting, um, you know, wisdom and building your own mind and heart that you aren't going to be a very good leader because you can't give away what you don't have. And I think the other thing is that to always remember that our actions speak so much louder than any of our words. So, mm -hmm. you know, I have to, anything I believe strongly, I have to act it out before I ever um, talk about it with my mouth. That's awesome. So what are some ways that you invest in yourself? Do you have any favorite authors or things mm -hmm. that you do to just invest in yourself? Well, I think always reading is a great thing, but for me, um, you know, I need to get filled up from reading the Bible. Mm -hmm. And reading God's Word really sort of fills my heart up so I have more to give away to other people. Wow. Um, and, and, you know, the other things, just really great authors, um, listening to um, people that are, are on tape or mm -hmm. on your iPod about leadership, anything to sharpen your mind is always a good thing. But my primary primary source of filling up is um, the Word of God. Excellent. Well, do you have any favorite quotes or things that, you know, really encourage you as you're traveling on the road with students mm -hmm. and just in your work? Well, one of the things that, you know, I really try to uh, instill in the players that we get a chance to, uh, to coach is you are what you repeatedly do. Mm -hmm. Excellence, therefore, is not an act but a habit. And I think all of us our whole lives are trying to build really solid and healthy habits so that mm -hmm. we're, excellence isn't something you sort of drum up one day or you turn a faucet on or off, that it's a habit you commit to as a lifestyle choice. That's excellent. Well, you have been blessed with so many gifts and talents and experiences. Mm -hmm. And um, how, what's the way that you give back? What a way that you pay it for? You know, I believe that we're, you know, blessed to be a blessing to other people. Mm -hmm. What are some ways that you've been able to do that? Basketball awards us a lot of opportunity to give back um, to people into the community, whether it be doing basketball clinics for kids who wouldn't normally afford to go to camp, mm -hmm. or most recently we've partnered with a group called Samaritan Feet. Um, who wants to provide shoes for kids who don't have them, 10 million pairs of shoes hopefully in the next five years. Wow. And we had a wonderful opportunity in Tallahassee, Florida to uh, serve 200 families and we got a chance to wash um, 200 children's feet, uh, put a wow. fresh pair of socks and a fresh pair of shoes on them and, wow. and ha having made a difference. So um, it's just a wonderful opportunity to, um, to serve other people and I've received so much in my time and I'm just so thankful to be able to do small things to give back. That's excellent. And one more thing, you were telling me that you all were, had the opportunity to travel to South Africa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell me, you know, what was that like for your team? And also, what, how did it change you? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe some things that you're even pondering upon now, some mm -hmm. lessons that you took from that trip. Well, uh, what a just a wonderful experience to go to another country like that with such rich tradition and you know um, South Africa has been uh, been through such dramatic change in recent times and to really hear their stories to listen and to know we really don't understand all that they've been through but to to really care enough to honor their journey and to listen to their stories but we had an opportunity to go into a wonderful township there called Kayamunde and do a, a clinic and just to serve the kids of that town it was a very wow. small thing but um, it was just an opportunity for our players also to be exposed to a group of people that live very differently than us and um, I think you know when I came back to the United States and all of us had a chance to think about all we had I think mm -hmm. number one we took away that uh, a sense of gratitude we're so fortunate we've been given so much and also there are so many people in need in our own country in our own backyards that we don't really uh, engage with and I think that it was a really great reminder that um, you know you have to nobody wants to get out of their comfort zone to truly serve people in need and we're all in need in yeah. different ways it just looks differently yeah. and so to put ourselves in a position to be of service to people as a lifestyle Excellent. 
Well, Corey Close is a true leader, and definitely follow the FSU women's basketball team this year. It's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. um, Corey's a wonderful friend and coach, and I'm just so privileged to be able to know you as a friend. Well, Thanks, Corey. Thank you, Yanni. <laughs> Appreciate it.